I okay. I have a new I have a new strategy for this floor. I have a new strategy for this floor, and I think it's gonna work out. I'm like, I'll just make them go in the corner. Maybe the, maybe they'll be out of the range of the explosion. Nope, they were all in range. They all died. Okay. So here's my plan for this floor now. Because this this is yeah, this is the floor where they just drop bombs on you everywhere out of nowhere. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave all the Pikmin back here at the start, and I'm gonna take one of the captains and have him go around and trigger as many of these bomb drops as possible. I don't know why he didn't trigger that one, but okay, fine. So let, yeah, I'm just gonna have one of the captains go around, move basically everywhere to try and make all these bombs drop. So that way, it won't trigger when the Pikmin go out. Okay, so that's... Alright. Wait, what?! Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me! <sighs> this game, man, this game. Just... <sighs> you are very wrong, Simpsons R Us. And Pikmin 2 is not normally easy. Pikmin 2 is widely regarded as one of the tougher games Nintendo has made. <laughs> At least if you're trying to get 100%. <laughs> Even just beating the game normally, like, it's not effortless. Like, you definitely gotta work for it. Okay. Wow! They can just spawn in enemies out of nowhere. Gosh. Darn it. The nice thing is, this dungeon only has five floors. So, once we get past this floor, we're good. Once we get past this floor, we should be good. This is the turning point dungeon, I would say. This is where the game really ratchets up the difficulty big time. Okay. I'm going to assume that one of the Bulbmen is in this starting area and is immediately going to come for me. There he is. Nope, doesn't even matter. Sometimes he just eats you. I told you there was no way we were going to be <laughs> get through all, everything in this stream. We haven't even unlocked the final world. The final world has three dungeons, and they're all ludicrously difficult. I would still say Submerged Castle is not even that difficult. Because <laughs> I know what lies ahead. <laughs> I know what's coming for us. Okay, no, don't don't latch on to the bomb spider's legs. Um, where did where did my Pikmin go? Oh. Oh, gone it! Sometimes the Bullman just eats you, and there, you, you can't do anything about it. Even with the, the spicy spray, like, sometimes he just trips and he dies, and sometimes he bites your Pikmin and you lose. There are too many Bullman in this dungeon. You, you only need ten Bullman, really, to get through it. Yes, I have played Pikmin 2. I have gotten everything in Pikmin 2. I've beaten it 100%. I would not be attempting a no-deaths run if I had not beaten it 100%.
inventory. Do, 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 do. That is just evil. That bomb will not fall unless you actually start breaking down the gate. So I don't trust this freaking gate anymore to leave my Pikmin behind, because then, yeah. You've got to be kidding me. The problem, And the problem is, you can't use the C-Stick to march the Pikmin away, because then if a bomb drops, it'll cause them to swarm the bomb and just destroy it. This is this is one of those situations where I'm like, did Nintendo playtest this? Did Nintendo playtest all of these floors? It feels like they didn't. Or if they did, then I seriously question whether they're like, yes, this is, this is good difficulty. <laughs> the customers will love this. <laughs> this is the epitome of you need to be smart because we just throw stuff at you that you cannot possibly predict. Oh my gosh, is he actually going to go for my other captain? Okay, I know there's going to be a bomber over here. Oh no, there's a Korean Dirigi bug. Arguably even worse. Get away, 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 get away. Alright. I will go over there with just Olimar. To trigger all these stupid bombs. I guarantee you that gate is going to have a bomb drop on my head. Guarantee it. He probably dipped out. Okay, yeah, watch. I throw one on, a bomb will drop. Maybe not? Get away, 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 get away. Just kill him, just kill him, just kill him, just kill him, just kill him. Just kill him. Break down this Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Volatile Dweevil in here. I am truly shocked there was not a Volatile Dweevil or a bomb that dropped on my head. Um, That seems like a weird way to go, but okay, I guess. I cannot wait for sub-level 5. Sub-level 5 will be glorious. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Deviled ham. Drone supplies. Well, that's weird. Volatile Dweevil's... Oh, I see that bullman back there! I saw him! That's going to be the one that drops the Dweevil on it. No? Yeah. 
It seems like this version of the sub-level has far fewer... Never mind. There we go. Did I just hear the water wraith drop? Also, where did the glint beetle go? Where did the glint beetle go? I need him to reappear. Oh, there he is. hurry. Oh, hey, they knocked out the poison filters for me. Sub-level 5? No. I know what sub-level 5 is. Sub-level 5 is going to be cathartic. Proton AA. Please be the last treasure. No, it's not. This treasure is going to be in here somewhere. Oh wait, no, the last treasure is being carried back. That's right, it's the uh, the green truffle. I really hope this is the last one. Please, 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 please. The white delight, or uh, I'm sorry, pale passion. Oh my gosh, it is okay. Run, 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 Beat the water wraith. Yes! Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, good lord. I, I beat the water wraith on every floor except the third one. That's great. Submerged castle, sub-level five. Here we go. Oh, I've been waiting for this one. This is... I have been looking forward to this floor. <laughs> Final floor. Time to make him pay. And now we can use the bulb men, and we can turn them into purple Pikmin. Which is great, because we can't take the bulb men out of the cave. So when we reach the geyser, all of our bulb men will stay behind. So may as well use them to get more Pikmin. Oh yeah. This is... So, every, every, this is the boss floor, and this is probably one of the best designed bosses, like, ever. I won't say why just yet, but... It's gonna be very fun. Still not... Still might die. Might have to reset. That's okay. The Bullmen are such a cool idea. I just wish it was easier to get them on your side without needing to use a spray. Is there anything else, or...? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Time to get everybody for the flower power. I believe that's all the pigment we can gather, so. Going to separate out our ten purples. <laughs> Alright, and here we go. Now we get to actually fight the water wraith, but now that we have purple pigment, he's possible. Water Wraiths can't stand the sound of Purple Pikmin uh, hitting the ground. It'll cause them to 
go into this form. Now, we don't want to get too greedy. Because he will eventually break out of it and start running over our guys. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Kill him. We get revenge against the water. No! What the heck? There is no way that should have... I should have killed him. He had a sliver of HP left. I threw some pigment on him. He should have died. I don't know why he didn't die. I, I don't know. Truly, I don't know. I, I stream stuff on a whim. Alright, let's try that again. Like I said, it's... You can still die to the boss. That was a really stupid reason to die, though, because he should have been—he should have died. No, I no freaking I ah, damn it! You gotta love the Pikmin firing system. I had Boldman selected, and it made me throw blue instead. I know it's not that big a deal, because I have plenty of blue, but it's really... It's all the little things just add up to... Again, pretty much all of my frustration in games goes down to stupid random chance. And it really feels like, even when you blatantly select one type of Pikmin, it's still random chance whether you actually throw that type or not. It's one of the reasons why I will never play Mario Party on my channel. Never. That one stupid blue pigment drank up all of the nectar by himself. Ooh, spicy spray. That's nice. I mean, I kind of want more nectar. I'll take it. Come on. Move. Move. Is there another egg around to give me more nectar? Or is that stupid blue pigment? No, I think that stupid blue pigment literally drank all of it. So now I have one purple flower and the rest are leaf, because one blue Pikmin drank up an entire puddle of nectar by himself. Without permission. Thank you. It feels a little random whether or not it's, he solidifies when you throw a purple pigment or not. Alright, kill him this time. Thank you. Now this is the best anti-climax boss ever. So he's... He played this for the first time. He probably tormented you throughout this dungeon. And now, at this point, he can't do anything to hurt us. So we can just stay here and pelt him while he cowers in fear. Oh, no, I don't feel bad for you at all, Mr. Water Wraith. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Ooh, look at that.
Processing. How curious, the wraith completely vanished. But what was it? Surface object scans indicate the presence of a bright red component. Yeah, it's right in front of me. I can see it. I, uh, I think it would depend, uh, RS. I would definitely be game to join Twitch chat. I think it would just depend on what time of day it is, if I could actually join, and also what the game is. Because I feel like there wouldn't be a lot for me to comment on, depending on the game. But I would, I'm would i definitely always game to join other people's Twitch chat. It's always a lot of fun. All right. Now, Blue Pikmin, you're not going to hog the nectar this time. Let's try to get as many of our purples flowered as possible. Oh, there we go. That was a good amount. Still have a lot of Boldmen, which is a shame. I wish there were more purple flowers here. Oh my gosh, this room is so dark. I can barely see. I guess it's just a round room with only one entrance and exit anyways. Alright, we conquered the first truly tough cave. Snakeret Hole wasn't... A piece of cake, but this was definitely the hardest up to this point. <laughs> oh yeah, it's way it's way harder for me to respond during Twitch chat during a real-time strategy game rather than a turn-based strategy game. Woohoo! A hundred Pocos! The professional noisemaker. How insulting! This object coloring is more eye-catching than my own hull. I shall connect it to the alarm clock our esteemed president was so fond of. Processing complete. I have refitted both objects into a pluck phone Now, simply blowing your whistle will inspire Pikmin sprouts to pop up out of the ground. Yay! No more manually picking Pikmin! We can just whistle for them now, which is incredible. Really good upgrade. Oh my gosh, the submerged castle is done. <laughs> and with that, we will now get the regular ending of the game. <laughs> we didn't have it. No, we did not. Woohoo! Cave complete! I'm, I'm really glad that even if you leave Boldman behind, it doesn't say that they died. That's very nice. It's not like, oh, you left behind the Boldmen, so they died. It's like, but I literally couldn't bring them along. No, it doesn't matter. You died. They died. Perplexing pool. Now I believe, yeah, I believe it forces you to end the day now. Because we repaid the entire debt. You've repaid the entire debt! Mission complete. You've earned 10,000 Pocos. Now Hakatate Freight will be prosperous and debt-free until the end of time. Probably. Prepare to blast off. We return to Hakatate triumphantly. Ooh, I am a star in the sky. Whoa, they projected the... It's like the Epcot fireworks show. They're projecting images onto the globe. Of all the Pikmin we helped out. Bruh, you left Louie behind. How do you leave Louie behind? And he's not even turning back. He's just like, okay, guess we'll keep going without Louie. It's not like he needs it. Do, do. Wow, like, how do you... F you have two people on the planet. How do you forget your partner? How negligent can you get, man? <laughs> and that's how it ends. Louie's like, oh well. Guess I'm here. What the heck? <laughs> I can't believe my supervisor left me on this alien planet to die.
I really like the art style of this game. It's very pretty. I said I wasn't going to finish the run this stream. I said it was possible we would repay the debt, but that's not the end of the game. Never mind the credits going. That's the first ending. The true ending requires you to go back and save Louie. And we're not even close to being able to do that. There's more? Oh, yeah! There are us. I think we might be halfway through the game at this point. Well, I mean... Halfway through the streams. Because, again, there's still an entire new world we have not explored. There's still several overworld treasures in Perplexing Pool, and we haven't even touched most of the Valley of Repose. So we kind of have, like, two worlds left, I would say. And the, we have five remaining dungeons, and they are all going to be incredibly difficult. Oh, Iwata. Rest in peace. Man, Iwata worked on everything. <laughs> Louis staring at us like, are you gonna do anything? Hooray! Wait, did... I saw a number 10 at the top. Oh, that was the day count. I hope that was the day count. We have 65 purple Pikmin, that's great. Okay, yeah, days spent, 10. I'm like, I did not lose 10 Pikmin! Yeah, he's... He, yeah, it has been seven years, but man. He was such a cool guy. He had so many great games. Resume the expedition and return to the planet. Uh, yes. Oh, good. Thanks to you, our company has been saved! Hurrah! What? There is still more treasure? Good gravy! If we collect it all, we'll be filthy rich! Louie! Where's Louie? What? You lost him? In that case... I shall go! <laughs> so we lose Louis and now we get the president. 